There are many, many commands, some 613 commands in the Old Testament law. Okay, so the question is, how do we know which ones apply it to us and which don't? So we have some commands that don't seem to be tied to any real morality. Questions love, should our garments contain two fabrics or should the fields that we own have two types of seeds sown into them at the same time, right? These questions, I think, do not apply to us. But because they don't, that doesn't mean that the Old Testament law's weightier matters of say morality do not apply. We could say we could maybe parse it out this way. The Old Testament laws that are tied exclusively to Israel around 1200 BC uh, show, do not show God's permanent righteousness. There are laws though that are a part of that covenant like prohibition of adultery, theft, bearing false witness, uh, murder, right? These kinds of commands. These commands are also prohibited before the Old Testament law, like due to creation realities. And they're also mentioned after the Old Testament law in places like the New Testament. What we're seeing is God's heartbeat for what his righteousness is all about. When we see those commands uh, repeated over and over and over again. Whereas, coming back now to these other examples of the gotcha, like, well, what about two types of seed or two types of fabric? Well, these are only mentioned twice and only once or under the Old Covenant. So there's no moral weight, so to speak. You can't see God's righteousness attached to something throughout all of redemptive history if it's only mentioned once. You have to look for what does God keep repeating for his people, and those are the laws that we are going to keep today as Christians.